Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, back again with another mod day. I haven't been keeping track, but my assumption is that this is probably like the 7th or 8th mod day, I don't know, but today's mod is extremely special because it's not just some generic mod pack that adds some pretty cool stuff. This is a special mod pack that adds some extremely interesting stuff, and that is all 117 blocks from Minecraft and this is like this is a, I find this like hilarious because for some reason a lot of people consider unturned a lot like Minecraft for some reason I mean it's got zombies and and other than that I, I don't think there's there's much like Minecraft I don't know how how people got the I got the got the assumption maybe it's the bad graphics or something but anyway um, now you have the ability to make unturned exactly like Minecraft using all of these blocks. I mean, they aren't destructible. I mean, they are just placeable objects from within the level editor. So they are going to be parts of the environment, just like a house or something. So you can't blow it up. Um, but nonetheless, you'll still be able to make your environment look just like Minecraft, which, which will make some pretty cool maps. So I challenge anyone who's watching this video right now, if someone can manage to make a really cool Minecraft unturned world using the blocks in this mod pack, I can guarantee you that I will showcase it, um, and it will be pretty cool. But anyway, basically what it does is it adds all of these blocks into your objects tab, all in the small category, so now my small is like filled with freaking tons and tons of blocks but thankfully Nelson of course added the search feature so if we wanted to coat our world in Minecraft grass blocks we would type in grass we have snowy grass and regular grass I'm just gonna take a regular grass block and when you place it down we have Ta-da! A Minecraft grass block. Look at that. And this is the first mod pack that I think I've seen that actually has the models spawn upright. Um, I've heard it from a few people that it's just a glitch, but I don't know. Maybe this person modeled all of them sideways to fix this problem. But I don't know. Whenever you place them down, they actually spawn up upright, which is pretty cool. And if you wanted to coat your entire environment with this, you would have to copy and paste it individually thousands of times, which I will do a little bit. Alright, so as I begin copying and pasting more and more of these grass blocks, it begins to get more and more laggy as I try and select them, as you can see here. And I don't want to make Minecraft crash, or <laughs> unturned, I just said Minecraft. But anyway, um, I don't want to make unturned crash, so maybe it might not be a feasible option to make a full Minecraft world out of these. But I'm going to make myself just a little mini one of these. So let's like take a section of it and raise it up. And these blocks look exactly like they do in Minecraft. They are slightly more detailed, I think. But anyway, so that's what uh, that's what the grass blocks look like. So if we wanted to add maybe some uh, tree, maybe, is it a tree? No. Oops. Oh, I just clicked E and it placed down a grass block over there. Okay, birch, oak. Let's do oak. And we should put the tree right there. Oops, I need to have it selected. Oak, log block. There we go. So we got the... The log block from Minecraft looks exactly like it does in Minecraft. Very cool. All right, so there we go. Copy and paste that up maybe two or three times. There we go. And now we need some leaves. All right, so I think that's one of the blocks that I don't think they have. I don't think they have leaves, but I know they have glass. So I know they have uh, transparent blocks, so that is a possibility. So maybe he just hasn't added it yet. So trees aren't fully, whoa. No, that is not the glass I'm looking for. No, glass block. There we go. So, you know, they do have glass, like as you can see here, it's transparent, looking good. But anyway, so I don't think leaves are in, so we aren't able to create trees. But there are um, board blocks and stuff like that. Um, I, uh, maybe they're planks? Yeah. All right, so oak planks. So we are able to create ourselves a nice little house, which I will do right now. All right, so I lined the uh, the wood planks in the direction that I want them. Let's destroy like maybe the two blocks here, the three, 
and replace them with glass. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft, except I don't have to go out and retrieve the blocks. All right, so we got the glass panes in, looking pretty good. Um, whoa, this is not aligned at all. Let us move that over. Wait, some of these are probably overlapped. Whatever, I don't want to spend a ton of time, but it, I would imagine it could get pretty difficult to line everything up perfectly, as you can see here. Um, but anyway, so you guys get the main idea. I'm going to see if there's like a door. I'm not sure if there is. Nope, there isn't a door. But I think there is a torch. So torches look exactly like they do in Minecraft, except in Unturned, they actually glow, which is super cool. They are extremely bright, which could be fixed, but anyway... Um, here is the torch looking good and looking exactly like it does in Minecraft. I really like how they how they actually glow, which is pretty cool. So if you just rotate a little bit and put it up against the wall, copy it, paste it to the other side, there we go. We've got ourselves the two torches. It's really bright, but I wonder if it looks better when you turn it on to nighttime. Oops. Oh, let's not adjust the sea level. <laughs> there we go. I guess we can make a little Minecraft island. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, time. Adjust the time. Yeah, it does look a little bit better when it's nighttime. But anyway, so that's um, that's how you do that. I think pretty much you guys get the idea. Pretty much any Minecraft block that is in Minecraft is in here, and there's tons of possibilities that you can do with this mod pack. I'd highly recommend you guys download it and try to create a map of your own. But anyway, that was the Minecraft mod pack. I will link the download link of this mod pack in the description down below. So make sure you guys go out and check it out. You guys should comment your thoughts on this awesome mod pack down below. But other than that, that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like Big Boom is out.